What's up everyone and welcome to Jakeonomics. My name is Jay and it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we take a look at anything related to finance with a strong focus on investing. So if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, then please consider subscribing and liking this video to help me on my quest to befriend the big, bad YouTube algorithm. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I know I've already put out two videos earlier on Monday, but I had to make this quick short video for you guys here as it is time sensitive. There are two new SPACs that I'm buying tomorrow in pre-market as I think they will be runners in the days and weeks to come. I'll tell you which ones and why and what my strategy is. But before we get into it, anyone who isn't currently part of the Smart Money Squad on our Discord server, you should go join that right now. Lots of good dialogue and content in there. The link is in the description below. We'll also be posting on Instagram regularly now, so hit us up at Jakeonomics with a follow on IG. So make that thumbs up turn blue and subscribe if you're new. It really helps the channel grow. And now without further ado, let's get into the video. So to preface what I'm about to say, these are not long-term plays and are momentum plays based on current market conditions and other factors which I will discuss in the video. So the first SPAC I'll be putting some money into is Newborn Acquisition Corporation, ticker symbol NBAC, and these guys will be merging with a company called Nuve. Now Nuve is a play in the EV space in the charging niche. Now if you've been following the channel then you know I'm big on the charging plays. In August, I gave you Beam Global, which was Envision Solar back then, as a top 3 stock to buy. If you bought Beam back then, you would have 2.5x your money so far based on today's closing price. I also recommended the Envision Solar Warrants at the time for around I think $7. Now if you bought those warrants in August when I recommended it, you would have 4x your money based on today's closing price of $28.71. Next, I gave you SBE, which is, a, which is a SPAC merging with ChargePoint. This was in my top 3 stocks to buy in October video. I recommended this one when the stock was trading in the $14 range and the warrants were, I think were in the $5 range. At today's close, the stock closed at $34 and is up another 14% after hours and the warrants closed at $13 and those are up another 10% after hours. So now on to Nuve. They're in the same space, however they do defer from these two companies as well as Blink and let me explain why quickly. Nuve has developed a V2G solution that allows batteries from electric vehicles to be interconnected to form a virtual power plant and thus to absorb or to release energy from the grid when needed. The company monetized this system, meaning that customers have the opportunity to be paid for this service. Now according to Nuve, the most established commercial operation of such a power plant has been realized in Denmark. There the company has been offering V2G services with daily tenders on the energy markets for more than 4 years. Now Blink and ChargePoint are one type of company. They support charging infrastructure for EVs and they tap into electrical utilities to power electric cars. This would be considered V1G. On the flip side you have Nuve, which is a V2G player. This means that not only do its chargers power electric vehicles, they allow power from the electric vehicles to flow back into the grid. So why does that matter? Well for one, it's going to make the acceleration of EV adoption more sustainable, because electric cars are going to put a strain on the grid as the infrastructure is built out. So one way to minimize this strain is to give back via V2G solutions like uh, Nuve is offering. So these solutions are ideal for commercial fleets like electric school buses, transit vans, or you know municipal EVs for example. So if you guys are interested in a more detailed video, potentially comparing various charging plays, then let me know in the comments. But for now, let's move on to SPAC number two for tomorrow, Longview Acquisition Corporation. Now, these guys are merging with Butterfly IQ, a company that is trying to democratize healthcare 
by making medical imaging accessible to everyone around the world. So in a nutshell, butterfly technology turns a smartphone into an ultrasound machine, essentially. Instead of traditional hardware, the company has discovered a way to use ultrasound with a semiconductor chip. In doing so, they have been able to create a device needing only a single probe usable on the whole body that connects to a smartphone. Now these guys are backed by Bill Gates and more importantly have ARK Invest's Intrigue. As you can see here, I received this email from the ARK, Inde Ark, Indesk, Ark Invest trade desk today, that was a tongue twister, and guess what was on it? This reminds me a lot of something that just happened not too long ago. This to me smells a lot like iPob Open Door Round 2. Based on what happened there, iPob ran up like crazy over the span of a few weeks before crashing back down. Now, I'm making an educated guess that, you know, the same similar run up will happen here. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that this does not have the uh, Chamath factor. So perhaps it might not run as high as iPob did, but you know, I'm fully expecting this to hit the, you know, 22 to 25 dollar price range in the next week or so. So, we got two picks, one in the red hot EV charging space and one that is backed by Ark Invest and Bill Gates. Again, I'm not basing these plays on any fundamentals nor as a long-term play. For me, this is strictly going to be a SPAC hype run-up play. Now that we know a little bit about each company, let's go over our possibilities to play this smart and leverage our capital. So let's start with NBAC. So we've got NBAC stock, we got units, warrants, and rights as well. We won't get into too much of the details here as I do want to get this video out before pre-market. So I'm looking at the rights here as an intriguing play. So for the rights, for, for NBAC, the NBAC rights, every 10 rights will automatically be changed for one share post-merger if the business combination goes through. This means that at these current levels, you could actually buy 10 rights at 85 cents, uh, considering the after hours price, so $8.50 total, and that would turn into one share of Nuve once and if the merger is completed. There's also the warrants. These guys closed at $1.65 and climbed to $2.38 after hours. Remember, when you get in early into these SPACs, and this is something that I've been saying for, for months now, warrants are almost always better performing than the stock and lets you leverage your capital. In this case for NBAC, I may go half warrants and half rights because we don't know which one will perform better and which one will lag behind. Today, warrants outperform the rights, so I'll give myself both and kind of see what happens. I want to use this kind of like an experiment. So um, with SBE, Beam, and Blink all performing so ridiculously well right now, I think people will be hopping on when they hear about it. So to me, this is a great momentum swing trade in my opinion. Next we got Longview. Uh, here is a little bit of an interesting one because, you know, iPod warrants actually lagged behind the stock during its initial run-up. So will we see something similar here? I don't know that. I can't answer that. But since I am okay with more risk, I will likely go with the warrants here because of the upside. Um, even if the warrants don't follow the stock and they lag behind, we're getting in decently early, not super early, but decently early with these. So, you know, the percentage increase will likely still be better than the stock. So to recap, I'll be splitting my cash into NBAC rights, NBAC warrants, and LGVW warrants. So, you know, I, I will likely go heavier with NBAC due to how hot the charging sector is right now. I would probably say around 70 to 30, you know, 70, 30 uh, and back. And, uh, you know, after cashing out some Beam and some SBE today, I will be using those profits to invest in these two stocks. That, you know, that's kind of like the fast lane strategy, right? You leverage your cash in other opportunities and keep what you want long term. 
So that wraps it up for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it gave you a good insight into a strategy that you guys can perhaps use and, you know, an opportunity that maybe you guys would be interested in. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are and which one of these two plays would be your favorite and if you're jumping in. And guys, if this video brought you some value, then please smash that like button for me as it really does help the channel a lot. And if you want more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to be notified when any new video comes out. And of course, please feel free to join the Smart Money Squad on our Discord server. Until next time, take care and invest smart.